Hey there, and welcome to Goodwill in Pasadena. I popped in today because I had a little exchange, and I want to show you some of the things I'm considering. Um, so, yeah. So, one of the first things I found was this Whiting and Davis uh, mesh bag. Uh, these are highly collectible and sought after, and uh, for $7.99, that's like a no-brainer. Um, when you look inside... Uh, depending on how old it is, it's got the name stamped in the middle. But on this one, um, they have the internal tag right here. Lining and Davis. So that's excellent. Um, so yeah, that's a definite for today. Very excited about that. Next, uh, we have this black faux fur jacket. There's no label in it. It's just your nice 80s kind of faux fur, but I'm not going to get it for $30 because I don't need anything like this. Um, otherwise, I would. Like, Plus, it has a higher price on it, 30 bucks. so you know, I'll leave that behind. This, I think, is wonderful. It's tonight, one of those 80s jackets um, made in India. And it's pretty complicated. Which is why I like it. And um, it is $30, but that's before coupon. And I do have an exchange, so if it's a coupon, that's 20% off, so that makes it what, 16 ish, 14 ish, so yeah. No, wait, I'm doing my math wrong. Isn't this terrible? $30, that would be 6 off, so it'd be 24. Okay. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's a beautiful example of the 80s. So that's a definite. Okay. This I'm not going to get. I just picked it up real quick because I'm looking for Victoria's Secret pieces for a project. But this is not the right kind of item. Uh, so I'm going to leave that behind. This is a men's Oscar de la Renta blazer. It's just very hard to sell that so we're gonna get rid of that this I really like this is one of these vintage tutus um, this kind of thing rents a lot and so it's kind of intriguing and I like the fact that it's different colors and it's small and these girls are tiny a lot of them so I really like this um, a lot but if you look at it closely, <laughs> you can see it's damaged. Oh. So, you know, maybe I won't get it. Or maybe that's just the look. I don't know. But I really like that. So we'll put that over here and we're going to decide what to do about that later, pal. I thought this was kind of nice. It's 100% wool uh, beaded jacket. It was in the Halloween section. If you're not looking at the Halloween section, you could really need to. But for 25 that's just too much for what it is. Um, so, I'm going to leave that behind. Normally, I would get something like that. These are just things I picked up that aren't very exciting. <laughs> Sandra Darren jacket. If I had a booth at the antique mall like I used to, um, what I have now, I'm not supporting this kind of stuff. So, that's a no. This I thought was really cute. It's very 80s um, top with the shoulder pads. But I'm not going to get it. If I was at the bins, but I am not, I would consider it. But they want $10 for it, which is, you know, them pricing it as something special, not a regular shirt. These are really cute Top Shop um, turquoise velvet pants. The Top Shop is very difficult to make any money on. And it's still ten dollars and i'm not at the bin so we're gonna leave that behind this i adore i sell stuff like this all the time it's your classic little black vest uh, this one's in velvet a lot of people who um, have service jobs need the vest but for eight dollars not on sale and being velvet too risky found this little armani shirt but it's too basic just too plain for six dollars so that can stay and then um i thought this really cute red skirt i don't need it not getting it but um 
$13. No, it's too much. That would have been for rental. And then um, this Trina Turk top. I guess that was kind of cute, but not cute enough to get at $5. That's where we were. So, oh, let's see. I found this. I'm not going to get it. Um, it's a kid's black leather backpack for $15. It's cute, but um, it's hard to make money on that. And it's expensive. <coughs> and this that was kind of cute leaving that behind so where are we we are at that that we're leaving behind this we're probably gonna leave behind and that leaves me with two little things <laughs> it's, there we go so that's what we're leaving we've got the the whiting and davis and that and I don't think my exchange is even enough for that. So, um, there you go. So, that's it. I'm trying to be um, more selective. And that's uh, watching me do it in real time. Thank you for joining me here at The Goodwill. Please like and subscribe. And I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.